What we're dealing with here is a total lack of respect for the law. the FDA, which is the watchdog of American safety that we have empowered to protect the American public against food additives and drugs, has repeatedly reviewed all of the data that has been forthcoming from hundreds of studies about aspartame. But the fact is this thing has been carefully studied, repeatedly studied, extensively studied, so that, as I said before, the FDA concluded it's one of the most thoroughly tested food additives they've ever seen, and the conclusion is that it's safe. The same building blocks that are found in all of the proteins that we eat, whether they be bananas or meat or peanuts or what, what have you, they are found in NutraSweet. NutraSweet or aspartame is the most studied food ingredient ever approved by the FDA, and not just by the FDA, but by more than 70 regulatory bodies around the world. But the fact is this thing has been carefully studied, repeatedly studied, extensively studied, so that, as I said before, the FDA concluded it's one of the most thoroughly tested food additives they've ever seen. And the conclusion is that it's safe. They had made the claim years ago that they would help and support any legitimate researcher, that they would supply aspartame and be helpful in any research. I had published my anecdotal studies, and I had uh, written a chapter in Richard Wortman's book, so I, I think the industry knew of my stands already. But then, in the mid-90s, I wrote to the company stating that we wanted to do a double-blind study, because my earlier work had indeed been, quote, anecdotal. And I pointed out that they had made the claim that they would supply aspartame to any legitimate researcher. At that point, I was a professor at near UConn, Northeastern Ohio University's College of Medicine. I think I would qualify as a legitimate researcher. The company, uh, I sent the protocol for the study to the company. And they responded that this was unnecessary re research and would not supply us with aspartame. I offered to buy the aspartame. They refused. They put up roadblocks. They made it very difficult for us to purchase aspartame. We had to go around them. We finally did get USP-grade aspartame from Schweitzel from a private firm. But the point is that the NutraSweet company made it very, very difficult, didn't follow through on their promise to supply aspartame to any legitimate researcher, said this was unnecessary, shouldn't be done, needn't be done. They tried to block it. The G.D. Searle Company, in the quest to get approval for their product, uh, aspartame, they uh, conducted a study on animals in which they fed some animals, like I said, low dose, medium dose, high dose of the uh, product, and then they used control animals that supposedly did not get any of the product. Uh, when they submitted this to the FDA and the FD, FDA looked at it, there was some question about the study. Well, one of the scientists and neuroscientists looked at some of this and uh, he saw a lot of red flags. He said there's some real questions here about tumors being caused by this product, particularly brain tumors. 
so they uh, ordered a study to be done by the Bureau of Foods, uh, which was the precursor to the FDA. And uh, Dr. Jerome Bressler was in charge of this uh, group to, to look through this, the research that had been done by G.D. Serrell, and that's what the Bressler reported about. And this is the uh, report here. And basically what it shows is that either a lot of purposeful shenanigans was carried on to get this product approved, or, as he states it, it was the world's worst research. They found that um, what they did is the animals that died after being fed NutraSweet, they didn't autopsy the animals right away. Uh, some of them were not autopsied more than a year afterwards. And of course the tissues broke down and, and liquefied and so they couldn't do proper studies on them, but they reported it as if they had. And they reported these as normal. Uh, they found that they were taking tumors and cutting them out and throwing them away and saying the animal was normal. Uh, they had animal tissues that had obvious tumors in it that were reported normal. They had, uh, in one of the cases here that's reported, a, a lymph node that was enlarged. And uh, this G.D. Serrell pathologist reported it as a normal lymph node. When the scientists from the Bureau of Foods looked at it, uh, they say it was an obvious lymphosarcoma, a highly malignant tumor. Uh, the uh, notations about the testicular atrophy were not noted. Uh, there were just numerous, numerous things in this, uh, this report that showed that, uh, in my estimation, there was an effort to cover up what was being found so that they could get approval. There were so many things wrong with the submitted data from G.D. Searle originally. Um, they had a monkey study. And in this monkey study, they were fed aspartame. And they were fed aspartame with milk. The milk, as you know, normally slows down the absorption of certain chemicals when you, when you drink milk. If you take aspirin in milk, it'll take much longer for the aspirin to go to work. Well, even though the monkeys were drinking aspartame and milk, out of the seven monkeys they had, I think one or two died and four or five had grand mal seizures. Now, these test results were not satisfactory to G.D. Searle. Uh, they weren't going to be able to show these to the FDA, saying, hey, look, aspartame, even with milk, uh, caused monkeys to have grand mal seizures. Developing a society because of all of these different toxins known to affect brain function, we're seeing a society that not only has a lot more people of lower IQ, but a lot fewer people of higher IQ. In other words, a dumbing down, a chemical dumbing down of society. So everyone's sort of mediocre. That leaves them dependent on government because they can't excel. We have these people of lower IQ who are totally dependent then we have this mass of people who are going to believe anything they're told because they can't really think clearly. And very few people of very high IQ who have good cognitive function who can figure this all out. And that's what they want. So, you know, you can kind of piece it together as to why they are so insistent in spending so many hundreds of millions of dollars of propaganda money to dumb down society. I like to do well at things. It, it's important to me that if you're given an assignment that you try to do it the best you can. I'm afraid that some people confuse that with some sort of uh, single-mindedness on my part. Uh, 